All right, good evening, everyone. This is Ryan Dirks. We are going to go over five stocks that our clients have today. Um, those five stocks have had some developments since we made our last video and talked about 30 days ago, you know, once a month. So we'll start right from the top with Apple. Uh, Apple had earnings since we saw each other last. Uh, the earnings came in decent. It really wasn't that exciting. What was very exciting was it was a one, they announced a $110 billion share buyback. Um, and let's see here. We are on track to see over $1 trillion in share buybacks this year for the first time in history. That's really what made the uh, stock jump. So, yes, your stocks did jump um, on Apple News. Joseph Carlson says Apple is going to buy back their way to victory with a $100 billion buyback program. That's the luxury of a company that has a fire hose of cash flow day in and day out. And he even mentions iPhone sales are actually down year over year. So something else that, that they did announce, Apple is going to start making uh, some AI data centers and some processors to try to compete and really... Uh, make a boom, a big splash in AI. Right now, NVIDIA is leading the way. However, most people who are familiar with Apple know that Apple has made some killer, killer processors in the last uh, 10 years. So we'll see. Um, really, it helped them a lot. It pulled their stock back. They were down uh, this year pretty bad, down to 165. They popped back up to 183. All right, so that's all for Apple right now. Let's go next would be Microsoft. Nothing real crazy here. Microsoft had earnings. They whooped butt. They killed it. They did really, really, really good across the board. Everything is increasing. Uh, we'll go. You can see here, Microsoft's done well this year, up 12%. Um, Visa. Visa, a very, very good stock that we have. Uh, the only thing that happened with Visa recently is they announced their earnings. And again, they are killing it. Revenue is up 10 years over 10% uh, over the last uh, one year. Their operating margin still really big, 61%. Um, and then again, payment volume up, cross-border volume up, transactions up. So they're doing really well. Um, with that said, let's see. Oh, speaking, same, on, same with Apple. They're going to be buying shares back, they announced. And they are putting across $2 billion uh, towards dividends. Visa, again, has done very well for us this year. Next, United Healthcare. United Healthcare is finally making a comeback, but uh, they've been a dog for about six months for us, as we know. They had their earnings, but hey, look at this. Their earnings were great. You know, the real thing about United Health here is that um, um, what was in this article that I wanted to bring up? Uh, I can't recall. I think they were just talking about why they've been a dog this year. It's been cybersecurity concerns about healthcare companies and their cybersecurity. There was a, uh, a data breach of what? six months ago or so and then also medicare medicaid cost increase that's what's caused a lot of the united health like stocks to drag uh, recently let's go to the next stock here costco costco has killed it let's go straight to this chart costco's killed it for us they've been a great stock for many years for us um they had a few announcements um i, I believe they had oh okay so first off they announced that they are expected to sell, if you didn't know, Costco started selling gold bars. They're expected to sell $2 billion in gold in 2024. Just for comparison, the U.S. Mint sold $2.7 billion in gold until last year. So in one year, Costco, really in two years, Costco could almost match what the U.S. Mint sells in, in gold. Unreal. That will help. Uh, I'm sure with some sales and a little bit of <clears throat> fee there. Uh, and then Joseph Carlson uh, commented, Costco also announces that they um, are increasing their dividend. So that's awesome. Not only are they constantly paying us a great dividend, but it has been raised. So that is great news. Again, here's their uh, stock price. So, so you guys, honestly, that's it. It's been kind of a quiet month, but I wanted to keep you in the loop. Um, aside from that, there's not too much else going on. Um, you guys always call, email, see what we can do for you. Otherwise, uh, I just want to give you this update on how some of your stocks are doing. So that is it, you guys. Take care. See ya.